Hey everyone, um, welcome back to my channel and today um, for my gerbils on my paws um, we are going to be testing out a few um, gel products. Um, okay, so here's Coco. So I got um, a few the other day and I wanted to test them out. Um, um, I'm not sure they're gonna like most of these, some of them just you know but you know um I'm hopefully gonna do a part two of this video so let's get on with the first um part let's get on with the video okay so it's more so it's more equal we're gonna be testing out with both gels on each thing um so the first thing is this wheel. Now, I don't know if my gels have had an experience with wheels. This is the first time that I've got them a wheel, but I don't know about the pet store that there was before in. So yeah. I'll move some more up so I can show you. Okay, so the first gel that we're going to try out on is Coco. I don't think he's very used to it and doesn't know what he's meant to be doing. So, not really working for him, but I'm going to try... Oh my god, he's on a run. I'm going to try again um, with him and see if he will just, you know, get used to it, I suppose. Okay, so let's try again. He's crawling up my arm. I don't think he's he likes it very much. Don't you like the wheel? I need to run away. Just want to stay on my hand. Okay, let's try the snowy because obviously he doesn't like it. Okay, so here's snowy. Snowy always is sleeping for some reason. Um, every time I look into the cage, um, Coco's either sleeping or, you know, doing something. But he is always sleeping. He's so small though. Okay. So I doubt he'd be very energetic, so I don't think he'd do this very much. Nope, just crawl straight away. Straight away from it. So neither of my gerbils really I think it's because they aren't used to wheels and never had it before. So they don't really know what to do, they don't know what it's for, and they're not really used to it. Okay, so now we're going to be testing out um, this um, actual ball that I got. Um, so basically, this is just a ball that they put on for, and they put it in by this thing, and they go along the floor. So let's try it out. So my one came in two pieces in halves and I tell you this was so hard to put together. So here's um Coco. Um I just screwed the lid off. And clamber in there, just get used to it. They will do their poos in here. But you know. You can just shake it off into the bin. Okay, let's see his reaction to this. He's not doing much. You're not doing much, are you, baby? Oh, he went somewhere. He's going places. No. I don't think... I don't think... He understands it. But, um... Okay, so now I've got Snowy. In he goes. Okay, where's the lid? He's poking his little head out. <laughs> Don't want to squish it. He's a bit tired again, so he might not do much. No. <laughs> He's not doing much. 
Okay, so my gerbils also aren't sure what to do with this. On with the next product. So I'm trying this gerbil disinfectant. This is going to be really good next time I clean... Oh my god, he's looking at me. Next time I clean their cage. And hopefully it works well. Is that on? Okay, so what I'm going to be testing out on is this. Um, so basically the... Um, second story part of their house so their floor on the top bit and um basically what they do is i put their sand because they loved i put their sand bath right in here and it just sits on the top of the cage in the middle of the cage just like that and there's a little ladder that goes here and what they do is they dig in the can and they kick it all everywhere and it comes out the cage because it's got bars on the top part um, it goes all on here and there's a big heap up here. So there's all like this dirt and there's pee. So I'm going to be testing it out in that bit. Okay, I'm just going to use this sponge. And just see how much comes off. Wow. <laughs> Look, it's all off. It's completely all off. And gerbil disinfectant can't just be any disinfectant because they can, of course, if you're doing it inside their cage or something that they're gonna like sort of have food against and they're gonna eat, then it has to be safe for them. So as we made, especially for gerbils. And I'm just gonna clean on side as well. This definitely really worked well. Um, this stuff, gerbil disinfectant. Definitely this brand. I got the Johnson's kind, and it was cheap as well. Um, works really well. All the pee is gone. Quickly wipe down the other side. It's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, so basically, the next thing that I'm gonna try out. So the next thing that I'm gonna try out is this um, mineral lick. I think what they do is they chew on it, it's like, like a hard piece of, like, I don't know what it actually is, but um, it wears, it keeps their teeth um, trimmed, so it's meant for small animals, so let's just try it. Um, so apparently it's got a hook, so let's try it. Okay, so I'm just going to open it. So, take it out. And what I'm going to do with it, I'm not exactly sure where I should put it. There's like a stuff around it. Take that off. And then I'm going to hang it somewhere. Because it's quite heavy, I'm just going to lay it in their cage and see if they come up to it and sh start chewing on it. Yep, he's chewing on it. He was before I put this in. Come on, chew your stick. He's drawing on it. So hopefully he doesn't get that green thing. That's what I'm worried about. Oh my god, he's going up to my lens. You'll see his face in a second. So I just left it in there. They seem to be chewing on it and they seem to like it as well, so that's good to them. But the only thing I'm a bit scared about is a plastic that's apparently meant to hook onto the cage. I think I might and try and take that off because otherwise they'll be chewing on it and might get ill. And they get ill. So I take that out and that's all good. So it's actually getting a bit... Oh, he's chewing on it. It's actually getting a bit long video, so I'm going to really start to hurry up. I'm going to try this wooden... Um, play tube um, which they like to ignore on so this is really good for their teeth because they love to chew on stuff um, it was only 50p oh my god it's such a good it's such a good deal I thought it'd be like £2 only 49p um, so I'll put this in their cage and see if they like it ok so I'm just going to put you right here and see if they like it Yep, he's doing 
can also get bigger ones and they're good for guinea pigs and rabbits. But they seem to be chewing on it. Okay. So this product seems to be really good um, because they are chewing on it and they are playing on it. Definitely what it said. They said that it's meant for chewing and playing in so it's definitely good for what they said and they're telling the exact truth. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. This would be my second video on this channel. I also have other video, other, other channels um, called, I have another channel called Lexi Murray, which you can go check out. <clears throat> um, on there is just random videos and stuff like that. And, um, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And comment down below um, about your animal and I'll answer the question. And I'll do a video about it. Um... Stay tuned for more animal care videos and just vlogs and all stuff. Um, and see you next time. Peace out.